Welcome back to another episode of American Hunter TV. Um, if you guys are new from this channel, I do a lot of hunting uh, shows and stuff, as well as like a bunch of outdoor activities. So one of the outdoor activities we're going to do today is we're going to shoot a bow, we're going to test, see what kind of damage an arrow will do in, in certain objects. And today we're going to shoot white flyers, which are basically claybirds, and basically target shooters use claybirds a lot with their shotguns. They throw them up in the air and they shoot them with a shotgun. So there's a lot of pellets, they explode. It's really a lot of fun. But today we're going to see how many clay birds an arrow will go through. We're going to start at 100 and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line them up like this, about 100 of them like this. We're going to try to see what this will do by getting 100 of them, by shooting an arrow directly when they're solid together like this, about 100. 100 of them like that and then we're going to maybe space them out a little bit. So maybe like this on the table just so it's not a solid, solid object by shooting him, the arrow in, so it's not like blunt stop. Um, and that spacing will hopefully allow the arrow to continue its speed and not break on me. So I have two arrows, and we have two tests to do. We're gonna see what, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm shooting a Hoyt Power Max, which is a uh, great, great uh, amateur deer hunting uh, compound bow. Um, this is 62 pounds, so this is not really necessarily, I could say, the, the, the highest, uh, pounders you can get. You can get ones up to 90. I know Hoyt makes some that are 90 pounds, but this is just a uh, 62 pounds. So I think this is a pretty good average uh, speed for what a deer hunter would do, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm shooting a Warrior arrow. If you guys, can you see that? Hopefully you can. These are the cheaper arrows, and they're just a, a budget arrow. So it might not be the best arrow to shoot these things, but it's definitely cheap. So I don't really want to waste too good of an arrows. And however, I try to make it up with a nice, really sharp arrow tip. So this will hopefully go down farther into the uh, bundle of clay birds. Stay tuned, we're gonna go ahead and sight them up and take the first shot at the uh, 100 clay birds that are sawed next to each other. Stay tuned. All right, we officially have 100 clay birds lined up in a straight line, ready to shoot. With an arrow. We're gonna be about 10 feet away. And I'm gonna shoot, hopefully, <laughs> for the center. We're gonna see how well we can do it. But um, I have two arrows, and if one breaks, we get to shoot again. But 10 feet away and down low so I can get the parallel with the, uh, with the uh, target. So let's see, let's see what we can make happen. Stay tuned. Yep. Ready? Yep. What the world? Okay, so if you guys guessed that it would only make that much, you know, I honestly thought it was going to be like 50, but clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. Huh. Now, that's pretty neat, though. Jeez. Like, wow, you can actually see the hole. Almost. Wow. It literally went... <laughs> I can stick it through. That's pretty wild. Man, I, let's see how many that was. One... That counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. Let's say, actually, let's say 26. Well, let's say 26. So if you guess 26 clay birds that an arrow at 62 pounds with a warrior arrow will go through, you are freaking phenomenal. I mean, I would have guessed like 50, but however, I mean, it's, it did drift off a little bit, but. but we're, we're gonna do it again, you know what? We're gonna do it again. See? So I'm just going ahead and spacing these out for the second time just because we already know approximately what the first one will do. Hopefully you guys get the idea. Okay, and you know that they're pretty loose, you know, but they're still still fairly in a straight line. Now if you take from what I did last time, which was what, 26 I think? So minus about 100, that's 74, you know, that we have right here approximately. Actually, so we have 74 that we have left here. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to do it, but we're going to go ahead and give it a second try. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get more than 26. That's pathetic. I bought 200 of these things, hopefully. Go, fire when ready. Wow. Man. Go. Man, it keeps on deflecting up. Clearly, I don't even know where I hit, but I'm assuming hit like this maybe? 
and I guess with with my force it went. You could tell the, the deflection of the arrow. They went something like that. But yeah, we're gonna keep on doing this. Get you guys a good shot. Cause if it keeps on doing that, I don't know. It's not really a good. Just keep on doing it. Fire one right. Wow! Now that's what we're talking about. Dude, guys, you would not believe what Arrow just did there. Let me check this out. That is freaking hysterical. The arrow is completely gone. It's in the dead center. It is literally through like probably three quarters of this stuff. And here, hey, look at this. Look at the arrow right here. Look at that. It literally blew the dead center right there. Is it? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Dude, it's literally stuck in there. Wow. Wow. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take this out and see how many, see how many there. Cause please, look at it, it blew holes. Right. Man, that is funny. Literally just blew holes through this stuff. My arrows is shredded, so we're just gonna keep that where it's at, I guess, all the way back. Just keep on taking it out. Arrow literally went through as much as it can. Does that hole is a hole? That has a hole. That has a hole. That has a hole. That has a hole, that has a hole, that has a hole. Hole, 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 hole! And I think it might be the, oh, it's keep on going, it's still going. Literally, it's still going. This has a hole, hole. You got it, Kevin. No way it broke through all these. No way, no way. Oh, what? There's four left. There's literally, no, there's five left. Okay, so five from, let's, let's calculate what this was. So one, Pretty much one, two. All right. Well, I have no idea. Seventy-three how. minus five. All right. All right. Sixty-eight. We're just gonna say that's probably sixty-five to sixty-eight, approximately. First one was about twenty-six, and the second one was about five or seven or something like that around there. Um, and this one literally blew through the arrow length, but whatever that is. That's freaking sweet. That is awesome. And again, my arrow is just freaking wrecked. I mean, this is going to go in the trophy room now. It's because it's so awesome. Now that was pretty cool, guys. I mean, I definitely do like what that produced. I mean, I, was, I honestly expected it would be like five or so because it kept on rebounding, but did the whole arrow leg, so that was pretty cool. Um, if you guys did like this, go ahead and follow me on social media at The American Hunter on Facebook and American Hunter TV on Instagram. I post stuff pretty much every day as well as little clips little intros, little pictures of what I'm doing and what pictures I'm seeing of these nice beautiful buck in Pennsylvania. But I don't know, that's about it. So stay tuned for more guys. Enjoy.